Hey guys, Misty here with my five-year-old son, Atreyu, who wants to help me make videos, apparently. Uh, so he thinks we're doing an unboxing, but we are not doing an unboxing. We are doing my segment of Color Your World with Diamond Paintings along with me. And this should be episode number two. Number two. All right. So let's get started. We're working on uh, number six, which is 666. Yeah. Are you going to come over here and place diamonds too, crazy boy? <laughs> he said. No. <laughs> Do you know where my tape is? You talk too much. <laughs> I won't be able to edit you out if you don't talk. If you talk so much, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it's fine. All right. So I was just about to go on in video and of course I start sneezing like something fierce I don't know why but I'm not sick and I have no clue what even triggered it or anything <laughs> So when I went crazy and bought my 36 diamond paintings from AliExpress, I soon realized that I have made a mistake in buying them because it was at the time of Huikin's Drillmageddon. And it was very frustrating to find out that I purchased, I believe it was 10 from official Huikin. And then 16 or so, something along those lines, from Huiken's secondary store, Evershine. And so. I unfortunately pretty much like dealing with popping drills galore it was very frustrating but you know what I did get a hundred percent full refund back from AliExpress because I explained to them what happened and it's too bad because their canvases were pretty flawless I mean they were really nice um, I still did them anyway because I couldn't imagine throwing away 36 diamond paintings and trashing all of the drills. It just seemed like such a waste. So that is why I have a hard time powering through some of my older diamond paintings and why sometimes I'm like, babe, can I get a new diamond painting? And he's like, but you haven't finished. The old ones yet. Uh, uh. I like love, love, love the paintings that I got. So I, I definitely don't have the heart to just throw them away. Um, and I've had a a track record with buying from AliExpress because something's always wrong. It seems. So it's like, well, this one has rivers all over it. 
are. Um, this one has crappy drills. Uh, or they send it to me. Uh, I think Home Fun once sent me uh, sent me a, a canvas that I bought for my sister. Actually, for my nephew, I think. Um, at the same time, I bought them both. And the it, it looked like they when they put the uh, rubber bands on the canvas that they got the rubber band underneath the adhesive and it really ripped it all to shreds. And so I had to repair that canvas. I was lucky to be able to stretch it out and pull it back down, but I really thought I was going to have to, I really thought I was going to have to cut off that portion, but I didn't end up doing that and it still laid flat. So I was happy with, with the outcome of that. I have decided that I'm no longer doing diamond paintings for other people though, because they just don't love them the way I do. <laughs> They're not always perceived well. Even though you work really hard on them, they just don't understand. And, um, like, I've given them as a gift to my sister, my nephew, my, my oldest son. Is there someone else? And my niece. And I don't think any of them are hanging up. So. I know my, my nephew got mad at me and said he was going to sell his. So I don't know if he ever was successful at selling it or not. But I've decided not to give him as gifts anymore. And save my money and my time for myself. And I've actually gotten, well, I've gotten my husband's mother, my mother-in-law, and my father-in-law to both do it. My father-in-law likes to do it, I think, a little bit more than my mother-in-law, though. So, um, I guess he's actually completed a couple paintings or two, so, um... My, my mother-in-law still has the same diamond painting she's been working on forever. And she has, I think she worked, she started working on it again. But my, my two-year-old, who is actually almost three, he, he has a speech therapist and an occupational therapist that helps me out with, um, he's got some sensory, sensory issues going on and some speech delays and stuff and um they are helping me well I got one of them into diamond painting the other one says she'll try it but I haven't heard anything back whether she has or hasn't tried it but the OT is the one that actually has done the diamond painting and she actually completed this one because I recommended her to purchase this one to try it. She completed this this painting and she also is working on another one uh, that she got from AliExpress which I think is actually from Huikin but so far she hasn't mentioned anything about popping drills and it is a square so Hopefully she doesn't have that issue, but I, of course, seal all of my Huikin paintings with the Mod, Mod Podge wipe-off method. I also wanted to talk about, so with my family portrait, I... Hello, light. <laughs> like it's playing with the curtain. Sorry about that. Um, so my five-year-old who was four then, he was sitting in a chair with his dad, or not with his dad. His dad was sitting in front of him, um, but he was sitting 
and they were playing and he was my husband was spinning the chair and my son spun around with his feet out and when he did he kicked forward and put his foot through my very large very much glass uh, picture frame and the frame was like huge because the diamond painting was a 180 an 80 an 80 by 120 so he put his foot through it it shattered glass fell on his foot it cut his foot open and we had to rush him to the children's hospital <clears throat> because he cut the tendons in his foot that helps his toes flex upward. Daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there too. <laughs> Aiden Bo. Aiden Bo. So we rushed him to the hospital. They actually could not repair his foot until the next morning. We had to schedule him for... Because they thought he cut one tendon. But he actually cut all of his tendons in the top of his foot. So they had to go in and do a repair on his tendons. And it took about, I want to say two to three hours. I was so scared because... I have never had a child even break a bone. My, I, I told my husband, I got my oldest son to 18 without ever breaking a bone or cuts or stitches or bru like anything major. And then this little guy happens, which um, a little bit of backstory about him is um, when he was born, he still had fluid in his lungs, so he had to spend seven days in the NICU. And he was the biggest baby in the NICU because he weighed like eight pounds. So whenever you look at those little tiny little preemie babies, you think, oh. But nope, this guy, he couldn't, he was breathing too hard and he couldn't eat and breathe at the same time. So they had to put a feeding tube in and dry out his lungs and so he spent seven days in the NICU and so after all of that like this kid he likes to give mommy gray hairs for sure he likes to test it let me tell you pretty much it pretty much destroyed my canvas. Um, so I was very depressed about it. I had a really hard time after seeing my son's foot and everything. So I pretty much told my husband, I need you to like roll up that canvas and put it away because I was super heartbroken that my hobby caused him to have an injury and uh, so I haven't even repaired I haven't even tried to repair the canvas because when I last when I looked at it like diamonds were falling off it had bad creases in it it just it just I was defeated I spent I spent probably close to nine months to complete that thing and uh, because I I get a little discouraged when I um, don't haven't completed anything in a while so sometimes I will if I'm working on a really large project sometimes I will pull out a small snack size one so that I can complete it and then feel like accomplished more because I have completed something because when I complete things it like it makes me like 
happy. So, it, uh, but when it's taking a while to complete and it just doesn't seem like it's going to get there, then it makes it tough. So, and I actually have a really, really large painting coming from AliExpress if it ever gets here with all the mail running behind. I truly understand. It's just, I'm excited. I really want it to be here already. It just, it makes it, makes it nice when you can complete them, when you can show that you've completed them. And it's not like, what's taking so long? That's all you did? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of the way I, I think about it. I try not to think about it that way, but it makes it really hard. And I apologize if there's a lot of background noise. I guess I forgot to do my disclaimer in the beginning where I say, you may hear my kids, you may hear my husband fart, you may hear all kinds of things. Being said and done, we don't know. We never know what's gonna happen in these videos. I tried to edit some of the things out because, you know, my, my two-year-old, he gets, because he's nonverbal, he gets a little, gets a little amped up when you when he when you don't give him what he wants cuz you don't know what he wants so we struggle a little bit to figure it out We're, we he does know a few signs um we teach him some sign language to be able to communicate but he doesn't always use them or he'll he'll use them he'll say more and we're like what do you want more of cuz you didn't have anything to begin with can you show us so then he'll point but then he'll point and then he'll turn around and point to somewhere else so it's, it gets pretty hard to to help him but he's a work in progress he does say some words periodically he'll surprise us every now and then and like the other day he had we have an S sign language app on on an old phone and the sign language app actually um, has like little babies talking on it. And he won't necessarily, he won't necessarily copy after us, but he will copy after these little babies. And he was laying on the floor with the device and he pushed the button and it said rainbow. and. So he said, rainbow, and I said, did he just say rainbow to my husband? And, you know, of course, um, he said it again. So I got it on video of him saying it. But sometimes when you ask him to say something again, he'll get frustrated. Darn, I just missed three of those A's. Ugh. All right, that's okay. I'll get them after. Since I already taped it back up. We'll just go to the next. 720. But. So he'll just get. He also. The same night he also. Because um, he was in the section. That was talking about colors. And he pushed. The word color. And he tried to say color. And then he pushed the word purple and he said oh so it's exciting to see him starting to try to use words it's really nice because he's going to be starting a preschool program hopefully if these um that's a triangle hopefully as long as these um things cooperate these schools cooperate and keep their programming and stuff. Um, so we will, he'll be going to school for like two and a half hours or something like that. Um, and I think it's like five days a week. So 
I'll definitely be um, more hands-on, but he is very shy. Sometimes people can't even talk to him or he might throw a tantrum. Yeah. So we can get him to say some words. Um, he is more clearly defining dada and mama. But he's very much, because he used to say da, da. But now he says dada, like clearly. Like he's really like understanding like this. And he'll point to a picture of, of his dad. And he can, he totally understands. So, you know, he can follow instructions. And I can tell him, go get your pants or go get your socks. And he knows what everything is. He just, he's not able to talk yet. And... We're just working on that with him, and um, so those are some of the things that I do day to day. <laughs> what, baby? No, I am not. <laughs> I want to know what is the largest diamond painting you have completed? I my largest that I have completed is a is my family portrait, the eighty eighty by one twenty. However, I do have the ones coming from AliExpress from China. And well, the reason I'm excited is because I have two very large paintings coming. Because we are moving into our new house or apartment. We're moving to our new apartment and I decided I needed... A painting to go behind my couch and I needed a painting to go behind our bed and of course my husband's like you already have all these diamond paintings so why do you need more but you know he just he he doesn't get the fact that if I don't have diamond paintings to work on I might go a little insane <laughs> just kidding but um he and I are supposed to work on one of them together because I got one in mind of him and I got one in mind for myself. So, um, one of them I might be able to show on the channel. I'm not sure yet. I have to do some research. But the other one I don't think I'm going to be able to because after I ordered, I found out that... The image is actually owned by Thomas Kincaid, so uh, mine is going to be the large, a large Cinderella's castle, and it is a whopping 116 centimeters by 180 centimeters, and there's they're supposed to um, render it in 60 colors, 60, yeah. Uh, I feel really good about the Mayan company, M-E-I-A-N, because I had them render it probably a good 10 times before I was satisfied with what it looked like, and they were really nice about it, and I thought for sure they were going to be like, you need to go kick rocks, lady, because... You are never going to be satisfied with the way this comes out. But that's not exactly all of my fault either. Because a couple times they, I asked them to render it in a larger, in a larger size with more colors. And they misunderstood me and used the wrong picture. Like, because I had two, two different um, edits of the picture. One had like a really dark... Um, theme to it and the other one had like a really light theme to it 
So, um, yeah. So, then they, I think they got a little, like, miffed a little bit when they found out that I was, um, asking them for another painting that is it's going to be I think that one's going to be 90 by 150 or 160 something like that or it's like 100 by 160 something along those lines I have to I'll have to actually measure them when they get here because I want to make sure they're true to size anyway but so that one is a beach and then it's like a uh, shoreline and like the sunset in the background and it's like all my favorite colors and my husband loves the beach he misses California he misses going to the beach when you know like the two or three times we've went he loves going to the ocean um that's his that's his thing I'm not much for it because I don't like I don't mind it for a little bit and then I and then I'm over all the sand and and all of that but um last time we went it was really cold and the kids were shivering but still like in the water but I it was like no it was fine in Sacramento it was like hot in Sacramento but of course you know you if you don't check the weather on the beach, you might go and it's raining, which it wasn't raining, but it was definitely overcast and gloomy. And I was ready to go pretty much as soon as we got out of the car because we didn't know it was going to be cold. So we didn't bring jackets or anything. And uh, you would think we would know these things being natives to to California but I don't go to the beach often enough so I don't know and I didn't bother to check the weather and so we ended up spending like $50 on hoodies for the kids and my I think my husband already had his on so he was fine but I was not about to spend more money and have to buy one for myself I was just cold <laughs> I ended up having to wrap a towel around me that was dry because I was cold. And then I went and sat in the car and everyone got mad because I was sitting in the car and not on the, and not on the sand with them. And like, it's cold out there. What is wrong with you guys? Um, my oldest son, he, he was there as well and he was playing and, uh, in the, in the water with my husband and the kids and, you know, it was, it was nice. But it was cold, and so I didn't want to get out of the car, and so they got mad at me. But I, my husband ended up going live on Facebook, so I was watching him live while I was sitting in the car. <laughs> but they had fun, that's all that matters. I don't, I definitely don't mind them having all the fun. But. How many diamond paintings have you completed? Have you started your first one yet? Are you curious about diamond painting if you're new? How many custom diamond paintings have you done? I have done a rendering of my grandparents when they were younger. I did a rendering of my mother which I actually in the video I repaired it because when they I think it was uh, which one was that one I bought that one from Cami Yi and whoops, I bought that one from Cami Yi and they came covered in rivers like probably the worst I've ever 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 had and I told them like I really need these to be perfect they are sentimental for sure I need them to have good I'm like do you guys have popping drills like I mean I asked all of the questions I put them on the spot 
so and about with Huikin. So let me go let me go back to Huikin real quick. So Huikin they I bought from them and I said, Hey, there are you know rumors going around that you guys are having popping drill issues. And I'm like, it's you know, it's no problem. You're I'm like, but have you gotten it fixed yet? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we got it fixed. And then I was like, you know, because if you haven't gotten it fixed yet, then I will um, just take a refund or I will hold off and wait until you guys have better drill quality or, you know, whatnot. Because I, I told them I don't want canvases with popping drills. Well, they lied and said, oh, no, we got it fixed. And then when I got them, so far, every single canvas I have done. And at the time, I did not know that Evershine was a sister store to Huikin, which is really frustrating because that means that I spent more money buying from the same company. <laughs> Which is really, 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 really frustrating. And they they actually have like four stores. Four or five stores. And they all have popping drill issues. And even still to this day, I, you know, I've checked reviews um, on, you know, just to see. Because back when they were in their heyday and doing good, like people were just like, these drills are perfect like they line up perfectly they are like the best drills in the whole world like pretty much and I think this was even like before Diamond Art Club even even existed uh, I don't know what I don't know what year they opened up but I definitely hadn't heard of Diamond Art Club yet so when now, I have only done this round in Diamond Art Club, so I can't speak on their squares. I can only tell you that their drill quality for rounds is amazing. Like, they are really, really good. They don't have tab issues, which some of them, even in the, even in the rounds, have tabs and can pop. Um, they don't have a lot of trash in them. They're very, very good quality drills. So, um, so when, so who can lie to me? So I, I will never, they like, <clears throat> they lost my business forever. They will never, ever, 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 ever see another dime from me because they lied. They full on lied about fixing their stuff and people still to this day are talking about how they're having popping drill issues <laughs> I will not ever 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 buy who can again and they have terrible poor customer service so I asked them I said I'm having, I'm having, I, I see that these, these things have tabs all over them and they're not, they're not, um, good quality drills. And so they, they told me that they would not refund me my money unless I completed or partially completed a diamond painting. And I said, do you know how many diamond paintings I bought from you guys? I cannot physically complete all of these canvases. I can't. Bef before you're, like, in, a, in an amount of time that is reasonable for you to give me a refund. I said, I would be more than happy if you send me good quality drills. But I want every single one of my canvases drills replaced. Not just one. And and also, not just that. 
they actually sent drills wrong. They sent drills. So I had a bag that was for, uh, cause I bought Disney princesses. So I, I had drills, I think for, I think it was her Aurora and her dress is pink and they sent me blue drills. I'm like, there's no blue in this canvas at all. And they sent me a, another color in Tiana's dress. And I'm like, Tiana's dress is green. This color is supposed to be green. So I think they did resend me those colors, but they refused. I said, fine, then give me a refund on them. And they said, nope. So I sent all of my information to AliExpress and I told them, look. I have been trying to get this company to either give me better drills, which I guess they cannot complete, or to refund me my money, and they don't want to do that. And, I mean, I showed them all of the, like, drills being tabbed and, like, all of these issues, and I said, I just want my money back at this point because... They're refusing to send quality drills, and they obviously don't have them. So, AliExpress said, okay. They refunded every single one of those diamond paintings. <clears throat> so, so, now when I complete them, I complete them with as little angst as possible because I'm like, they were free at this point, and so I really can't complain too much. But, I mean, I really tried to get them to fix the the situation without me getting them for free. I mean, I, I told them, you can send me all of the drills again. But the problem was they didn't want to have to send me... You know 30 times 16 or whatever it was that I got and so um, so they refused and then they refused the refund and I said well what am I supposed to do and they didn't have an answer for me but you can't send you know you have to do quality control you can't send people stuff that is supposed to do something and then it not actually com ha you know complete that so these drills have one job and the job is you know, well i mean the drills have probably two jobs so one is to stick to the freaking canvas <laughs> and the second is to be pretty on the canvas so you know that's two jobs it and it wouldn't take much for somebody to quality check their stuff figure out why why when they're producing the drills that they are not fully clipping off everything that they're not supposed to have on there i don't i mean i don't really know how the drills work but i just know that if they if if you don't have quality drills then you are not gonna like what what it looks like so and this hobby is supposed to be stress free. it's supposed to be a stress reliever and if you have popping drills it's more likely to be a stress causer <laughs> like I completed a picture of Tinkerbell and it was giving me anxiety because I would I would put a section down and then the next day I would come back and all of those drills would be popping up and they would, and I'm like trying to put more on there and I think yeah I feel like once you get them all on there then they kind of stick down maybe better but th then you have to seal it because you'll still have ones that are popping out because the they're supposed to sit next to each other flat so you know like they're supposed to just sit next to each other and if they can't sit next to each other without 
you know, it's like, it, it, in my thought process, it's an analogy like, you know, like you're a five-year-old sitting next to your two-year-old and there's not, there's not enough room. And so what happens? They start pushing and shoving each other out of the way. And so they're not both cooperating. So, and I still, I still don't know if the drills were, you know, if it was just the drills that were having problems if it was, like because there was a lot of things being said like the drills are too small or the drills are too big or the squares on the canvas are too um off and so i i don't really know why they do it i just i just know that you put it down and they come back up <laughs> so it's it's a pain in the butt which makes it a little bit less fun of a of a hobby when it does that. So, you know, you don't want to get from a company that doesn't have good drills, that's for sure. So, I've I've heard a lot of good things about Diamond Art Club. They um they have had some issues, I believe, with some canvases but I think they when they discontinue those going on with the kit like you know maybe it had popping drill issue or maybe when it was rendered it was just it was rendered too small or you know those kinds of things so um I've I've heard a lot of good things about diamond art clothes so I miss working on squares because I've been working on all of the ones I bought from Amazon and they were all rounds. So a lot of the diamond paintings on Amazon are rounds so I miss working on squares so it'll be nice when I start I want to be able to start one of the dreamer designs or something um, because then I get to work on a square also I haven't worked on a well I actually before I got the Amazon before I got the Amazon ones I was working on one of my I have, I have a few smaller 20 by 25s um, of watercolored princesses from Disney and they are all squares. Those are the ones I got from Huakin and so I get, I can get them done pretty quickly but with popping drills they, fr they start to frustrate me so I notice that on those days I don't always diamond paint daily I might leave it sitting there out of frustration so so my five-year-old he is homeschooled by his dad right now because of the whole thing um his he's in um he's in preschool four so he'll start kindergarten next year but he gives his dad a run for his money um, because he knows that he's home so he can, you know, he's got all his things here. So he tries really hard to not do his school stuff. Um, we at least try to do, they, they have like a morning message that they, you know, say hi to people and and stuff and like good morning today is you know whatever the date is to keep him to keep him knowing you know hit that there are different days of the week there are different times and you know there are different um dates and months and so we try to keep him at least doing that daily because it is a power struggle to get him to do 
worksheets or write his name or I mean sometimes it's even a it's even a pill to try to get him to count to 100 and because he he is he is stubborn <laughs> I wonder where he gets that from <laughs> I'm the tourist in the family so you know I'm a little on the stubborn side but sheesh he can be stubborn and once he's once he is set in his I'm not gonna do that you won't get him to change his mind you just won't it will not work it does it makes it it makes it difficult and we are really trying i definitely want to praise his teacher miss bond for her patience and all of that good stuff because wow i can't even get my one five-year-old to do what needs to be done. How can she get 16 of them to do what she needs? I mean, it's it's amazing to me how much patience. I, I definitely could not be a teacher. I I'm like, get your get your bag or pick up the thing. I can't, my hand is broken. Really, a tree? Your hand is not broken. And then he will sit down and adamantly try to throw a tantrum and tell me how his hand is broken. He can't use it to pick up said shoe or whatever it is. And he is fully set in that. But it's it's nice because in that school he does he does not throw a fit. Well. So he, he won't throw a fit with a teacher. He will throw his fits before school. The personalities in my life are very flavorful. <laughs> Yay. They just spend the day trying to make sure they don't all kill each other. That's all. <laughs> so. That is what I, that is the strive of my life. Like, it did... You know, at the end of the day, did everybody survive? Yes. Okay, well, we did a great, fantastic job then. That I mean, that's all I can hope for anymore these days. Like, did they all survive? Did we all make it with our fingers and our toes? And, you know, we have our good health and, you know, all of that. And... My husband wanted to be a teacher once upon a time, but he got into the credential programming and they basically scared him away from wanting to teach. And he comes from a long line of teachers. Um, apparently his grandparent one of his grandparents was a teacher and his aunt was a grand uh was a, was a grand teacher was a teacher and um someone else i think was a teacher too in his life and that's what they wanted him to do so everybody um encouraged him to do that but he ended up going to school for four years and got a degree. He got a bachelor's degree in liberal studies. And he did the teacher credential program and then decided he didn't want to be a teacher anymore. So he dropped out. That was right when he and I, um, we met before that, but we started dating around that time but he was already failing out of the program or he was already leaving the program so he was like missing classes and so it, there was nothing I could do to help encourage him to stay in there and and help him 
Um, but he decided he didn't want to do that. So I told him, you know, if you don't want to be a teacher, then don't be a teacher. You don't have to be a teacher. <clears throat> there are plenty of other jobs out there that you can do. You don't have to be a teacher. And he decided he didn't want to do that. So, uh, he and I actually met at a karaoke bar. Um, I don't drink, really. I, I've drank a few times in my lifetime, but very little. Um, so, I was there to sing, not to drink. And he and I actually sang a duet, and then, um, you know, we just, I thought he was kind of dorky. <laughs> kind of nerdy, and so, you know, I was just like, hey, whatever, he's, he's a nice guy, though, and so we remained in touch a little bit on, mostly on, you know, Facebook or whatever, and that was about it and um he ended up getting into the military and he i would talk to him like you know now and then again because he would be on guard duty or something in the middle of the night and i'm a night owl so he would message me ask me what, what i'm doing you know all these different things um so we we talked a little here and there i would comment on his posts and then, um, cause he, he actually got deployed over to Kuwait and spent a year out, out of country or nine months out of country and, um, something like that. And when I said, well, you know, when you come back, let me know so that we can, maybe we can hang out and go get something to eat or something. And one day I messaged him on Facebook and I said, hey, are you back yet? And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's hang out. We're supposed to do dinner or something. So we set it up and then he forgot. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? He forgot that he set a date with me to, I am sitting at the restaurant and I said, did I get the day and the time wrong or something? Or the, the time wrong? And he's like, what are you talking about? And, I, and I'm like, did I, am I talking to the right person? Did, did you and I not set up a date? And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Thank God he lived five minutes from the restaurant because I... I was already a little like, what? <laughs> you forgot that you set a date with me? I obviously must not let, be that big of a deal. It must not be that big of a deal, like, to... That's what I was thinking. And so, um, I actually had a really bad day at that point in time because, um... The, that day, I found out that my boss, that I was, I was working for a company, and I found out that my boss committed suicide, and things were a mess at that job after, and so, it, it was, it was absolutely crazy, like, found out way more stuff than I ever wanted to about a person that I barely talked to because he would only pop in and out of the office and pretty much only talk to his office manager and but it was a really dark period in my life because my office manager was a freaking psycho <laughs> yeah total psycho and so like bipolar bad one minute she's fine next minute she's crying next minute she's telling me she's gonna kill me I'm like what is your problem lady it's just you and I in this office and your mood swings are too crazy for me I don't I I don't feel comfortable being here 
and she just was, there was a lot of drama going on in that office and I could I could not I like I I really I feel like I should have got hazard pay it actually has left me with some like PTSD like I never want to work in an office setting again because it was that bad. Um, she actually like made like one of my friends actually got me the job, like recommended me for the job, and then the office manager would say stuff like, "So and so is saying they're gonna take your job. You better watch out. She's not your friend." And blah blah blah. And then the other one would be like. Did you hear this? And that? I'm like, I don't want to be these gossipy girls that are like talking about each other in the office. You guys need to stop putting me in the middle of it because I don't like to their to each other's faces. They pretend like they like each other, and then and then the next minute they're talking bad about each other, and then they throw me in the middle of it and say I said this and I said that and I'm like this job is this job is crazy like I hated that job with a passion I absolutely absolutely hated that job I hated going to the office I hated having to work there with her um when when I so so the the manager committed suicide. Um, he left the business to his... He left the business to his girlfriend. And that whole time he was telling the office manager that he was going to retire someday and give her the business. That never happened. And she, like got all upset and lost her mind and then <clears throat> the the girlfriend was pretty distraught um, but she didn't want to run the business so she asked her sister who's a successful business person I guess um, to help her out well they tried to get stability we were just moving offices and stuff and then all of this stuff happened and and then I got sick and they told me if you have any symptoms don't come in and I said well what do you mean like so I was coughing sneezing I like a flu or whatever and so they're like we can't afford to get sick so you need to um you need to stay home if you're sick blah 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 so I called every day. I said, I'm still coughing. I'm still, you know, whatever. And I was like, do you want me to come in? No, no, no. If you still have symptoms, don't come in. No, 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 no. So come to find out, I come back to my job and my office manager has told the owner's sister all sorts of lies. The, the office manager said she was leaving because they weren't giving her the company. That she was going to, she was going to be leaving and blah, 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 blah. And so she was set to, set to leave to go find a new job the Monday before all of this happened. Um, and then she didn't go. They asked her to stay. She didn't go. Then they gave her a portion of the company. Well, I came back uh, from being sick and they told me that I did all of these things wrong and that I lied and I was hiding work that I, that I hadn't done. And I'm like, I didn't do any of that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But then they said, so we're going to demote you from, cause I was a, I was a, a man, like a kind of a manager on my side of the office and they said well we're gonna demote you and we're gonna move you into this other position doing 
what my boss was doing before and she's now going to become the office manager like she's supposed to where she doesn't have to do any work she just oversees everything because before she was doing like all of this other work that was um extra so she was doing her the manager work plus the uh another person's worth of work and so well come to find out uh they she hired her best friend to take my position so that's what they planned all along and so i told them they, they said they were going to demote me they were taking and bumping me down to minimum wage and I was going to be doing a, a different job than what I was supposed to be doing, that I, than what I was already trained to do. And I said, nope, see you guys later. Uh, file for unemployment. And I haven't worked since because that job just seriously left me in like a PTSD state. Like I... I do not ever, ever, ever think I can sit in another office setting ever again. It, like, did a full-on number on me to deal, have to deal with crazy people and, I mean, I don't know if she was really crazy or not, but, I mean, she, she was a mess. She was cheating on her, at the time it was her boyfriend, her fiancé, her high school sweetheart fiancé, with a guy from the office. And then the guy from the office started ghosting her. And she would have full-on teary-eyed meltdowns in the middle of the office over this guy. And then... The next minute talking about how her husband or her fiance is the love of her life and blah, 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 blah. I mean, it was, it was crazy. I mean, she practically stalked the guy, but whatever. What do I know? <laughs> it was just, it was a lot, a lot of drama. It put a, a huge turmoil in my life and, you know, I just. I just, like, asked, like, you know, like, my, I just asked my husband, you know, like, hey, do you, uh, like, we just were getting comfortable enough to, like, hey, you want to move in? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, so, it really was, like, the worst timing. But it also helped that, you know, when we got together, um, he, he actually uh, was, in the middle of trying to find a new job because he was going to school full time, so um, with the credential program, so he was trying to find a a job. And where I helped him, he helped me, um, or where I could help him, I helped him, and he helped me. Um, so he kind of understood. It. He wasn't like, "Oh my God, I'm running for the border now. This girl is um, unemployed," and you know whatever. Because we kind of met each other in hard times in our lives so but we got through it and he and I have been mostly happy mar happily married for uh well we're going on six years this year so but you know I always say yeah, I haven't killed him yet so that's a good thing even though we're in tight quarters, I haven't killed him yet, so that's always a good thing. No, I love him. I do. And even though we go through hard times, we are totally in this together, and we are each other's support system. And... Even when he's not supporting me, I have diamond peeping. <laughs> so, I want to hear... If you made it this far in the video, then I want to hear your stories. 
you have a horrible office story like me or a great love story like me I mean it's not the like end all be all of of love stories but I mean he did forget about me jeez <laughs> He did forget to, he set up a date with me. That is terrible. <laughs> but, I forgave him. You've seen pictures of him. He's he's usually the guinea pig of my, of my pictures. So, of my videos. So, I usually use him as my thumbnail guru. <laughs> so, he wears on you. He is dorky, though. <laughs> he is dorky, but I love him. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the stories. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more diamond painting content. <laughs> you can't talk to Aiden anymore. Aiden's crying. <laughs> he do think that's funny. <laughs> He's like, ha, 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 you can't talk no more because Aiden's crying. <laughs> yeah, put his okay. laugh at like. Three. Are you selling dad stuff? You better not sell that fish. Your dad will freak out. He is an animal person. <laughs> Oh. What, baby? No, I am not. <laughs>